All right, ladies and gentlemen, it was the week before Christmas, and much to my surprise, I woke up and there was new endings that Kyle was famous. So Christmas came early, and I woke from a drunken stupor, and we have 11 more endings to get. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right, that was uh, really uh, forced and awkward, but I did it, so good job, me. Kyle wakes up, he is famous. Or, ah, oh, she skipped. No! <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, to a good start. I haven't played this in so long, I forgot how to play. Let's see if we can get our 11 endings. Embrace the Christmas spirit. As Kyle started to leave his bed, something stopped him. Maybe it was a smell as smell in the air, or maybe it was the chill from outside, or maybe it was just pur pure luck. Kyle has been imbued with the spirit of Christmas. In an instant, Kyle began to hear the dreams and wishes of every child in the world all at once. Uh-oh, his head's gonna explode. Kyle's newfound ability was quite... <laughs> Abilities were quite overwhelming. He screamed, clutched his head, and screamed loudly. Ah! The voices did not stop. Kyle curled into a small ball and rocked back and forth. Not to be left alone, Kyle was gifted with a Christmas miracle. Small bumps began to forming on his under his scale and pushing outward. Are we gonna explode? This is not good. Kyle's skin began to stretch and tear, letting loose a small army of elves that had been growing in his stomach. Oh, this is unfortunate, Kyle. This is not good. Nutritious. Nutritious. The elves scattered around Kyle's apartment, foraging for anything remotely nutritious to feed on. Yeah! Music. Kyle birthed an elf army. He had been chosen to become Santa Claus. Kyle decided that the best course of action was to fulfill his duties as Santa Claus. Kyle stepped out of the bed, stray elves fall from various holes in his skin. Kyle must now continue his day as Santa Claus. I think we have to do that for everything, I'm sure. Alright, let's check all these things first as Santa Claus. Choose an outfit. Do I have a Santa suit? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Sit desk. Create Santa list. Yes. Kyle knew he must construct his naughty and nice list. He began to think of all the people in his life. Kyle thought of Gabby. Nice. Kyle thought of Rachel. Naughty. Kyle thought of Techno Jim, the nicest. Kyle thought of Kyle, naughty. Kyle ripped his list out of his, oh, out of his notebook. Back to desk. We gotta eat. Uh, so we did all that. There's nothing else in there. Scavenge, elves. Kyle quickly crouched down on the floor, realizing his immediate need for elves. Can we eat the elves? Kyle winced as he realized he would probably need to bring the, some elves along. Kyle grabbed a nearby bag. He started to crawl around furiously, grabbing elves left and right. Soon, Kyle's bag was mostly full of elves. No matter. Kyle used his elbow to forcefully compress the bag's contents so he could fit more elves. After several shoves, the contents of the bag had compressed severely. Kyle continued to gather elves. Soon, Kyle's bag was a solid mass of elf flesh. Kyle returned to the center of the bedroom. I feel like we need to eat. Let's go eat. Uh, move to kitchen. Make Christmas cookies! Kyle walked to the center of the kitchen. Kyle thought it would be nice to make some Christmas cookies. He opened every cupboard in, in his kitchen, trying to decide what he would top his cookies with. Soon he had narrowed it down with fur choices. Let's do sprinkles for right now. Kyle placed a generous amount of sprinkles on each cookie. They were delicious. Kyle walked to the center of the kitchen. Open fridge. Nothing in there. Exit. SHIT! Oh, well. I'm gonna do the same thing, so I'll skip to where I was at. Go on Santa duties. Kyle walked out into the middle of the something. Kyle realized it was wise to conduct his duties as Santa. Release elves upon the world. Kyle dumped his bag of elves on the ground. The elves silently looked around them, stunned by the sudden change of environment. The silence did not last long. The elves began tearing about, screaming kiss Christmas carols and looking for food. Ravenously, they devoured every crumb, piece of trash, and bit of roadkill they could find on Kyle's street. That's weird. It was not nearly enough to satisfy them. They began to branch out to nearby streets. The elves could not be satiate, satiated. They began to swipe food out of the hands of nearby restaurant goers. Like a flood, the elves took over Kyle's city. Houses were broken into. Streets were blocked. Within minutes, there were, wasn't a scrap of food left in the city. Driven by hunger lust, the elves started gnawing their ways through the walls, devouring buildings from the top down. 
The government's defense measures were brought in to attempt to stop the waves of elves. In a flurry of rage, the elves launched themselves directly towards their enemy. There was a grand clash of bullets and teeth. The elves clamped themselves firmly onto the army members. <laughs> Hunks of metal and bulletproof jackets were turned asunder by the elves' mouths. The army equipment and weepions were systematically swallowed. There was nothing left to stop the elves from consuming every last material from the earth. Nothing except Kyle himself. Kyle planted himself in front of the elf mob menacingly. The elves lashed themselves into the air, flying at Kyle, tearing teeth first and screaming Christmas cheer. With cat-like speed, he started grabbing elves out of the mouth air and shoving them into his mouth. Kyle swallowed elves at a frightening pace. He grabbed them with both hands from his legs as they tried to climb up. Kyle's stomach began to bulge with elf mass, but he did not slow down. He is the hero we need. He is Santa Claus. As suddenly as it had started, the flurry of elves ended. Kyle had swallowed them all. Kyle became a national icon of homeland defense. The world began to refer to Kyle among the great history figure, among the great history figures of humanity. Kyle was preemptively awarded the two, next two Nobel Peace Prizes. His name became synonymous with safety and joy. Kyle spent the next few days hunched over the toilet, hacking elves out one by one and flushing them into the sewer. The elves formed an underground society in the belly of the city, leaving happily away in peace away from humanity. Kyle released the elves. Alright, ten more to go, baby. Embrace it. Ski up. Yes. Alright, so we're going to leave the... Uh, yeah, let's leave the elves alone this time. Create Santa Claus. More. Nice. Naughty. Nice. Naughty. Back to desk. Back to room. Uh, open the closet. Choose an outfit. Santa suit. Back to room. Exit bedroom. Can I uncheck the lecture? Christmas magic? Kyle walked over to the stranger in the hallway that found that the door was locked from the inside. Use Christmas magic. Kyle twiddled his fingers and sang a Christmas tune under his breath to open, to open the door. The door swung open, letting Kyle through. Kyle found himself in the room he stashed the various items sent to him by his fans. Check sewing machine. Alright, we got the laser claymore. What if I fought the elves with the laser claymore? Interesting. Interesting thought. I like that. Uh, let's do some dead rat cookies. Kyle placed one of the... Oh, that, they were very bad. He did not like that. Alright. More. Kyle hurried to the set. Sitting across from the host chair was a glamorous woman with an air of genuinity. As Kyle approached her, Rachel looked up and smiled. Good evening, Kyle, she said, looking him in the eyes. I've been looking forward to being here. Kyle responded. Scream and spin in circles. I was interrupted by the producer. This will tell me if I need. Good evening, everyone, said Kyle, looking up at the camera. Welcome, up. Welcome back to Stay Up Late with Kyle. Explain that you are Santa. Kyle continued. I am your host, Santa Claus. I am here to bring you Christmas cheer. Kyle put his notes down and looked at Rachel. Ah, ha, ha, said Rachel, not understanding. It's not something to joke about, Rachel, said Kyle. I take being Santa very seriously. And I take you very seriously, Kyle, said <laughs> Rachel, trying to play along. I am not Kyle, said Kyle. I am Santa Claus. Produce present. In an effort to convince Rachel of his Santa Cl nature, Kyle hacked a present out of his mouth into his hand. Kyle pushed the soggy present onto Rachel's lap. Rachel looked slightly unsettled, but reached her hand to undo the bow on the top. <laughs> said Kyle, slamming his hand on top of Rachel's. You can't open it until Christmas. Rachel decided to play along. I'm sorry, Santa, said Rachel. Do you have... Happen to have your naughty and nice list with you? I want to know where I stand. Yeah, said Kyle, pulling out his list. You don't rank well. Rachel was visibly taken aback. Oh, oh, said Rachel. Why is that, Kyle? Eh, because you suck. <laughs> Kyle made no attempt to try to frame his comment as a joke. <laughs> he stared at Rachel expressionlessly. Well, Kyle, said Rachel. Being that I am not Santa Claus, I'm not sure you have the authority to say that. Rachel pulled her own naughty and nice list out of her pocket. Kyle's blood ran cold. 
And you, Kyle, said Rachel, are going getting awfully close to switching to the naughty list. She hovered a pin menacingly. No, no, Rachel, no, said Kyle. Don't do that. Rachel held her mouth open in a maniacal smile and drew the pin slightly closer to the list. Kyle dived across the stage, nabbing at Rachel's hands to try to steal away either the list or, 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 her, or her pen. A fist fight between the two ensued. Blows with, were given to each, to the face of each with equal gusto. Gusto. After several minutes of being slightly abused, the producer thought it might be better to end the broadcast. As the lights shut off and the studio closed, Rachel and Kyle, Kyle and Rachel were still locked in combat, neither backing down. Who the true Santa between the two was never figured out. But indeed, that night, the true Santa was involved in a fistfight and did not deliver any presents. It was the worst Christmas ever. Kyle got in a fight. Alright. Nine endings left. Skip. Christmas. Skip. Start day. Sit at desk. This time we won't fight her. We'll make sure she's naughty. Nice. Nice. Definitely nice. Nice. Back to room. Open the closet. Need my Santa suit. And then we gotta eat. So let's exit the bedroom. I wonder what would happen if I didn't release the elves onto the world. I feel like there's a reason, uh, silverware. Kyle placed one piece of silverware on each cookie. After attempting to eat the first two cookies, Kyle was unable to swallow from the metal st stuck in his throat. This can't be true. He can eat anything. Kyle clamped his throat with both hands and squeezed, popping the silverware out of his mouth. Oh, he didn't get to eat anything. Ah, we're gonna starve to death. Does that give me the same starve to death ending as normal? Go on Santa duties. Kyle realized it was his wise to conduct his duty as Santa. Spread Christmas cheer! Kyle knew that one of his duties as Santa must be to spread Christmas cheer. Kyle skipped down the road merrily. As he met others, well, oh, excuse me, while others walking along the sidewalk, he smiled. Surely they would feel Christmas cheer. After several streets, Kyle stopped skipping. Nobody had burst into Christmas song. Nobody had wished him a Merry Christmas. Nobody had even smiled. Kyle realized he would need to spear, spread Christmas cheer more aggressively. Kyle walked up to a young couple chatting and laughing amongst themselves. He grabbed the woman by the shoulders and shook her lightly. Listen to me, he said to him. It's Christmas time. The couple left quickly. <laughs> Kyle not dissuaded, ran into the street, stopping a car with his hands. It's Christmas. Tell your family I love them. <laughs> Kyle shouted, banging his fist on the car hood. Kyle's method still proved ineffective. He realized that if he were to be a proper Santa, he must not hold back. Kyle started slamming his forehead into the car hood repeatedly, flailing his arms in the air. It is time for presents! Kyle emphasized each word with a percussion from his voice. Suddenly, Kyle was blessed with another Christmas miracle. Kyle's neck shot up directly upwards, towards, throwing his mouth towards the sky. Slowly, painfully, a live reindeer began to emerge from his throat. What is happening? In fact, it was not one reindeer, it was several. Kyle began to run around, arms waving, desperately trying to find a way of dislodging the animals from emerging from him. In a sudden, forceful moment, reindeer after reindeer explosively shot out of Kyle's mouth. The stream did not stop there. Every orifice of Kyle's face began shooting rat presents of all sizes in every direction. We're killing it. Kyle, unaware of what to do, <laughs> spun in all directions and screamed. His little crazy scream. Ah! <laughs> like doves, the presents flew far into the air, leaping into the laps of the children of the world. Within a period of minutes, Kyle had managed to give the world his santaly gifts. Eventually, the present spewing stopped. Kyle fell to the ground. He crawled his way back to his apartment and lay down. Kyle did not remember about his interview with Rachel. Spread cheer. We did it. Alright, we got eight minutes, or eight endings to go. Yay. Skip. Christmas. Skip. Dark day. Clothes. We want the clothes. I want my nice list. Nice. 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 Back to room. Uh, exit bedroom hallway. Move to kitchen. Make Christmas cookies. The last type of cookies. 
Dirt. They were iffy. So they're not too bad. That's not too bad. Return the hallway. Leave apartment. Go on Santa duties. Give presents to the children. Kyle could think of nothing better than to gather children around him and give them presents. Kyle supposed it was possible that there were children in the nearby park, so he quickly walked over. Upon arriving, Kyle saw several families happily walking around and playing in the snow. Kyle called for the families to gather around him. The children bounced over expectantly. Kyle presented the children with a gift. Wisdom. Children. Children, it is time to listen to Santa, said Kyle. The children leaned in eagerly. I have lived a long and full life, said Kyle, and seen many things no man could imagine. From the many experiences I've had and the people I've met, I feel qualified to give you this piece of wisdom. Kyle coughed into his hand and took a deep breath. Don't feed your girlfriend sea monkeys on the first date. There may not be a second. The children stared at Kyle blankly. Uncomfortably, the group shuffled their feet in silence. After a moment, one of the parents spoke. Actually, yeah, I, I can back him up on this. I tried it with my first girl. She ended up gagging at the table. No, he's right. Us girls do not like that. Remember that when you tried that on me, Dale? Dale remembered and grinned. Yeah, but she still stuck with me. Must have done something right. <laughs> the group of parents laughed appreciatingly and started swapping stories of their first dates. Kyle screamed and tore at his stomach. Ah! More elves were on their way out. In a sudden explosion, the group was covered in hungry, crawling elf flesh. The parents were whipped into a frenzy of pulling elves off of themselves and their children. Kyle, uncomfortable with the situation, decided to leave. On his way home, Kyle greeted everyone he passed. Inside his door, he stopped and smiled. He knew he had done something wonderful for the children in his community. Kyle gifted wisdom. That's awesome. Reset. Oh, that's faster. Embrace Christmas. We got seven endings to go. On the seventh day of Christmas. I got seven endings to go. I guess. Something. Dark side. All right, we're just gonna look around this time. I do need to eat my cookies, and I need to put my clothes on. I should check the desk drawer, but I'm not going to right now. I, got, I wanna go to the technical lab or Gabby. One of the two. Any Christmas cookies? Sprinkles, we'll just eat sprinkles. Turn the hallway, leave apartment. Visit downstairs neighbor. Kyle approaches downstairs neighbor door and knocked. A middle-aged woman named Gabby answered the door. She looked at Kyle expectantly. Greet and start conversation. Good morning, neighbor, said Kyle, cheerfully. Gabby looked at Kyle expectantly. Tell Gabby about being Santa. Hey, Gabby, said Kyle. I'm Santa. He splayed his arms open wide. Gabby wordlessly shut the door. Okay, that's not cool. There's a text door. Uh, give gift to Techno Jim. Kyle knew that Christmas would not be complete if Techno Jim did not receive a gift. Oh, we can't do it. We'll give him a gift next time. What do you want, Techno Jim? As Kyle approached her, Rachel looked up and smiled. Good evening, Kyle, she said, looking at him in the eyes. I've been looking forward to being here. Kyle responded. Answer politely. Oh, we already read this. Skip. It's our broadcast. I am Santa. Alright, we've read that. Can't put his notes down. Ha ha. It's not something to joke about. Alright. Produce present. Alright. We did good. No opening the present. Yes. Yeah, I do that. I do, said Kyle, pulling out his list. You're on the nice list. Well, thank you, Santa, said Rachel. What a nice surprise. Kyle was suspicious. Is it a surprise? Hmm? He asked, raising his eyebrows. Rachel coughed. Uh, uh, oh, uh, of course it isn't. I'm nice. I'm always on the nice list. Okay, so if that's the case, I want to try something, said Kyle. So if I put you on the naughty list, will you turn into a bad person? Like, can I control your morality? 
Before Rachel could answer, Raquel crossed her off the nice list and added her name to the naughty list. Immediately, something changed. Rachel jumped out of her seat in a blind rage and began trashing the studio, laughing horribly. Kyle suddenly curious, began adding other people's names to the, <laughs> other names of people he knew to the naughty list. Friends, family, and acquaintances of Kyle began bursting through the wall, ceiling and floor fire and floor fire in their eyes. It did not take long for the studio to fall into complete ruins. Kyle was fascinated by the results of his actions. Kyle wrote a dissertation on the effects of Santa on adults and was published in many psych journals. As research branded off of Kyle's findings, Kyle began to be known as much for his scientific findings as his talk show. Somehow, Kyle had become extra famous. Kyle was extra famous. That was awesome. <laughs> Six more. Uh, embrace the Christmas spirit. Skip. What happens if you starve as Santa? Or you go naked as Santa. Scavenge. Elves. Alright, I feel like I can use them for something. Turn the bedroom. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to see if I can use the claymore for something. Grab that claymore. Might need this. Kids might want this as a gift. What if I had that when everybody was going crazy? Maybe I could have fought them. Alright. No, no, no. We're not releasing really elves yet. Alright. Let's see. Laser Claymore, yes! Kyle presented the children with the gift. Laser Claymore. Kyle produced the Laser Claymore and wordlessly handed it to the closest child. The child's eyes got big in excitement and a wondrous grin across his face. Before anyone could react, the child began swinging it wildly with both arms. The child's parents made an attempt to grab the child, but he quickly ran in the opposite direction, still swinging. As the child ran through the park, the Claymore cut through breach, breach, benches, trees, and the ground itself. As a, pa a path of destruction was formed, the ch child continued to run at full speed, entering the rest of the city. <laughs> he reached the side of the building, but did not stop. Though, through his wild swings, the Claymore cut a hole through the wall. Within minutes, the ch city was in a panic with a s as a small child systematically crashed in and out of every building he could. The rampage continued as the city residents looked on helplessly, accepting this would be the end of their livelihood. Soon, there was no area in the city left unmarred. Destruction was rampant. Traffic was at a standstill. Buildings toppled to the ground. The electricity grid was destroyed. The city was in shambles. Kyle was unsure how to react. He eventually looked at the parents' children, child's parents. They were giving him a stern and slightly irritated look. Boy, said Kyle, pumping his arm. Kids sure will be kids. <laughs> Kyle walked away, humming softly. The destruction of the city brought about a new wave of apocalypse tourism, like nobody had seen before. The city's economy flourished. Kyle city, Kyle's city became a travel hotspot for the rest of the world. The small child ran for the for office the following weekend and was elected, becoming the first seven-year-old governor. We did good. Kyle gifted Claymore. Reset. Embrace Christmas. Skill. Yes. Uh, chica chica. Open the closet. Choose an outfit. Be Santa Claus. Yes. Exit bedroom to hallway. And then we do cookies. Because cookies are good. We like cookies. I like cookies. I like cookies a lot. Back to kitchen. Return to the hallway. Check the locked door. I got a present for you children. You're going to love it. <laughs> what if I take the elves to the sewing machine? That might be interesting. Check the supernatural artifact. Grab it. This is for this is for someone. What if I was Santa Lizard Santa? That's interesting. That's an interesting thought. Santa duties. Santa baby. Get presents. Which one of you want a thorn? Oh, I can't give him the thorn lame. Kyle presented the children with a gift. Because Kyle had not bothered to actually bring anything to the children. He had nothing to give them. Sorry, kiddos, he said. You're not getting any presents today. 
Cal let out a long, meaningful laugh. The children were quite frustrated. With a cry of anguish, one child jumped on Kyle and started beating him with both fists. Then others jo another joined him, then another. Soon Kyle was completely covered in violent, angry children. Kyle was mauled by the children and barely escaped with his life. As Kyle slid into his apartment, he locked the door and sank to the floor. Kyle, he remembered that he had an interview with Rachel later, but he decided that he didn't fill up to it. Kyle gifted nothing. Four more endings, boy. Uh, let me see something real quick. Skip. And a skip. Open the closet. We're going to be Santa. We're going to do some stuff at the tech store now, I believe. I think that's a smart idea. All right. Move to the kitchen. Make Christmas cookies. Yes, we all love Christmas cookies. No. Sprinkles. Dang it. Sprinkles. Return to the hallway. Leave apartment. Visit tech store. Give gift to Techno Gym. Kyle knew... Kyle walked up to Techno Gym with a large smile. In a moment, Kyle started to compress his stuffing. Slowly, a present emerged from his mouth. He grasped the present with his hand and yanked it out of his body. He was wet with spit. Kyle placed the gift at Techno Gym's feet and smiled again and left the store. Alright, let's do this. Spread Christmas cheer. Kyle grabbed the attendant and shook him. Merry Christmas, said Kyle very intently. The attendant looked very much like he wanted Kyle to stop. <laughs> Kyle gave one last shake, a jolly smile, and considered the job well done. Give a view, for example. Oh, I already did this. This don't matter. Alright, what's going to happen now? I don't have a list. Answer politely. Alright, I'm Santa! Kyle put his nose sounds and looked at Rachel. More. <laughs> Saw something to joke about, Rachel. Uh, more. I'm sorry, Santa, said Rachel. Do you happen to have your naughty nice list with me? I wanted to know where I stand. Kyle had realized he had not written his naughty nice list. Trying to save face, Kyle retaliated. <laughs> well, a real Santa doesn't need a list because he has it all up here. Kyle tapped on his head a few times. Rachel was unconvinced. Kyle, one of Santa's only defining characteristics is having a naughty and nice list. Don't take it away from him. Kyle began to doubt if he had truly experienced a Christmas miracle or not. Rachel, he said, I have to be Santa. Why is that, Kyle? Rachel looked up at him sweetly. Because earlier today, I birthed thousands of elves from my very flesh, said Kyle. Here, I'll do it again. Kyle tried to produce more elves from his skin. What Kyle did not know is that he had not produced the elves from a Christmas miracle. In fact, Kyle had been infested by the mother elf, who had laid eggs in her, the, his stomach for incubation. Irritated by the commotion, the mother elf burst out of <laughs> Kyle's mouth, screeching her war cry. Pandemonium ensued as the mother elf aggressively attacked all present. Rachel drew a blunt weapon from her pant leg and started to beat the elf monster senselessly. Eventually, the mother elf had taken enough. With a, par with a parting speech, she scurried out of the studio to find a new host. Nobody kn quite knew what she to do next, so nobody did anything. Eventually, Kyle addressed the audience. Everybody, he said, I don't think I'm Santa Claus. <laughs> the producer shut all the cameras off and everyone went home. Kyle continued the coming days as he vetted as normal, but vetted his diet much more carefully. Three more endings to get. What if I had my lightsaber at that point? Let's try this. Skip. Brace Christmas. Skip. What if I'm Santa Lizard? We gotta do Santa Lizard. At least give it a try. See what happens. Choose an outfit. Santa suit. Yes. And then we want to exit the bedroom down the hallway. Move to the kitchen. Make Christmas cookies, of course. Sprinkles, baby. Sprinkles! Yes! We love sprinkles. I love sprinkles. Check the locked door. Beyond the vaulted door, where something has never been seen before. And there's a laboratory. Kyle began pounding the mysterious artifact with his fist. Within a few hours, it became dust. An ancient force trapped in the artifact was re released and turned Kyle into a lizard demon. 
So now we're a lizard demon Santa. Good. Good. Uh, visit tech store. Or should I visit downstairs neighbor? Uh, consume galley. You should come with me for Santa. Visit tech store. Give gift to Techno Jim. Always give gift to Techno Jim. There's going to be an ending where I have to give a gift to Techno Jim, but I don't know what it is. Okay, let's see if this changed anything. I don't think they care if I'm Santa if I'm a lizard. Oh yeah, that's the same ending as usual. Nope. There's no lizard Santa ending! Why? Reset. Ray Santa. Skip. Alright. So this time, open the closet. Choose an outfit. Santa suit. We're gonna do a few things here. We're gonna one. Bring the elves with me. I need you. Exit bedroom. We're going to grab the lightsaber. Christmas magic, yes. We're going to take the lightsaber, just in case we need it. We're going to eat. We're going to eat some food. Food will be good for us. Back to hallway. Move to kitchen. Actually, I should have checked something while I was in there, but I didn't. We'll check it in a second. Sprinkles. Alright, return to hallway. Check lock door. Do I have to use Christmas magic every time? Why do I keep locking it? I can't do nothing with it. Santa, it's useless. Oh, Kyle hurried to the set. Oh, shit! Oh! Wait! There was a thing! Go back! Ah! What? Ah! Oh! <laughs> there was a thing! Okay. Skip. Race Christmas. Skip. Start day. Open the closet. Choose an outfit. Santa suit. Back to room. Scavenge elves. Because I don't know what caused that event, but there was a thing and I clicked too fast. Give me the laser claymore. Alright. And then... Move your kitchen. Cookies. Sprinkles. Turn the hallway. Leave apartment. Visit tech store. Give gift to Techno Gym. Because I love Techno Gym. Alright. Now, slowly. Approach Rachel. Dump elves on Rachel! Before Rachel had completely finished her sentence, Kyle took his bag of elves and dumped them on her. The elves grabbed onto Rachel with a deathly unshakable grip. Kyle, what on earth? Said Rachel. She bolted out of her chair and tried to bat the elves off of her. Days, Rachel, said Kyle, are your new and bestest friends. You must take good care of them. The elves looked at Rachel in their eyes and smiled endearingly. That's cute. Unknown to anyone. Previously, Rachel had terrible allergic reaction reactions to elf dander. Within moments, Rachel's whole body turned bright red and began to puff. This reaction was not like a normal reaction. The very foundational composition of Rachel's person began to change. Rachel started to sprout li oh, limbs from her legs and forehead. Her fingers grew extra eyes. As Rachel continued to mutate, it became obvious that to the onlookers what was happening. Rachel was transforming into the pure embodiment of all Christmas. Kyle realized that if he was going to keep his job as Santa, this would have to be nipped in the bud. Kyle started to pull, the el pull elves off the growing Rachel. Instead of slowing the growing process, it seemed to give... Rachel's body more space to develop new limbs and ears. After pulling a few more elves, Kyle lifted up his hands in frustration and gave up. He walked out of the building. Rachel continued to grow, becoming a shapeless mass of teeth, shoulders, and fat. The elves were slowly enveloped. After the initial shock wore off, the surrounding community began to appreciate Rachel's new form. Over the years, she became an icon of local Christmas celebration, acting as a centerpiece for decorations and celebrations. Rachel truly became the embodiment of Christmas. Kyle still Santa remained very jealous. Started a tradition. We got two more endings to get here. I think the last two endings were just looking for stuff to give people. Where's the Christmas spirit? Skip. Start. Open. Close. Yes. Um. There's a bedroom to hallway. 
Oh, nope. Actually, go back to my room. Oops. Set desk. We need the key. And then we need to go back. We need to go back to the room. Exit bedroom and hallway. Move the kitchen. Uh, let's see. Check pantry. Unlock with small key. Grab blard. Back to kitchen. Return to hallway. Leave apartment. Go on Santa duties. Give presents. Does any of you want lard? Yes! Kyle presented the children with a gift. Here, kid. Here, kid, said Kyle. Enjoy. Kyle produced a bottle of lard, snapped the neck off, and poured it all over the children and their parents. The group stood shocked and confused. Kyle threw his arms out wide in celebration. Merry Christmas, he shouted. Kyle laughed from the bottom of his stomach. Ho, ho, ho. Suddenly, with a crack, all of the children pointed at Kyle, mouths hanging open and <laughs> with glowing red eyes. They began to walk towards Kyle together, continuing to point and murmuring softly. Kyle suddenly realized he was in a sticky situation. Kyle turned to flee, but was stopped by an incoming mob of children walking towards him from behind. Kyle did not know, but he had triggered an ancient evil that lay beneath this town. Without anywhere to turn, Kyle began to dig downwards with his hands. Impressively, Kyle managed to outrun the ancient evil around him and burrow deep into the earth. Without many other options, Kyle stayed put and waited for the ancient evil to go away from the city. The time did not come. The ancient evil took out the, over the populace of the town, turning Kyle's city into a mass of glowing eyes and danger. More supernatural investigators tried to find the root of the city's problems but failed. Roads leading to the city were eventually blocked, leaving it ba as a banned evil place surrounded by normal America. Kyle expanded his underground home to be a series of tunnels running underneath the city. He survived by popping out into various buildings and swiping the leftover canned goods from pastries and shelves. Kyle had changed his city forever. Kyle gifted lard. That was, <laughs> that was cool. Alright, I think I know what the last one is. Yeah, you just gotta give the kids different gifts for these endings. I was trying to do something crazy, and it was just making it a lot longer than it had to be. Alright, let's see what else. I want to give Techno Gym as a gift. I hope that's one of the ending. I don't think it will be, but it'd be really cool if it was. Because I love Techno Gym. Techno Gym is life. Uh, sprinkles? Maybe I shouldn't eat, because I'm just going to give the kids presents anyway, so I have more hours in the day. Leave apartment. Visit tech store. Either that or I think I have to eat Gabby and throw him up on her. Give Techno Jim a gift. We gave him a gift. Now you come with me, Techno Jim. And he'll come alive like Santa Claus. That would be awesome. Give me him. Give me, give me. <laughs> Santa duties. Give presents to children. Kyle think of nothing better than to give gather children around him and give them presents. Kyle supposed it was impossible that there were children in the nearby park, so he walked, quickly walked over. Upon arriving, Kyle saw several families happily walking around and playing in the snow. Kyle called for the families to gather around him. The children bounced over unexpectedly. Kyle produced... Oh, Aw, shit. That, they don't want Techno Gym? How do you not want Techno Gym, son? I want Techno Gym. You suck. Oh, these kids suck. How do you not want Techno Gym, dog? He's so good. He's such a good boy. I hope the ending has, even though it's going to make it very difficult to find, I hope the ending has something to do with Techno Gym. Because I would really like Techno Gym. I would like more of Techno Gym. What if I eat Gabby? Can I, like, throw up Gabby on him? Move to kitchen. Make Christmas cookies. At least I can give a gift to Techno Gym, I guess. That's something. What could be the last present? There's a downstairs neighbor. We're going to eat Gabby. Oh, no. I can't eat Gabby anymore. I messed up. I don't know what to do. What can I give these children? Let's return to the apartment. And check the fridge. Is there something in the fridge that I can maybe give them? No. We do. Oh, we gotta eat Gabby. Skip. Embrace Christmas. Skip. What if I give him a flashlight? Do they want a flashlight, possibly? It's kind of a crappy gift, but I could check. 
Set desk. Check and desk drawer. Sort of change flashlight. Back to desk. Check and desk drawer. Flashlight. Back to desk. Back to room. Exit bedroom to hallway. Leave apartment. Visit tech store. Buy batteries for change. Insert in the flashlight. Back to tech shop. Give a gift to Prism. Techno Jim. I want you to come with me, Techno Jim. Alright. I could probably visit Gabby in time and still do this. Consume Gabby. Come with me. Go on Santa duties. What do you guys want from me? I have all these things. Neighbor Gabby! Yay! Kyle presented the children with a gift. I wish I had something to do with Techno Jim, though. Neighbor Gabby. Kyle bugged his eyes and started punching his stomach repeatedly. <laughs> In a loud and sudden moment, Gabby was gifted to the children. Here, children. Here, children, said Kyle, gasping. Is my neighbor Gabby? Gabby looked around, equal parts confused and irritated. The parents of the children collectively started screaming. Still yourselves, said Kyle. Gabby is a gift, not your enemy. <laughs> Kyle, I am not a thing, said Gabby. You need to stop doing this. Kyle looked hurt. Gabby, you're very pleasant, and I want to share you with the world. What on earth just happened? Where did she come from? The parents continued to be horrified. It's fine, everyone, said Kyle. This is my neighbor. And then everybody understood. Oh, I see now, said parent, one parent. Well, kids, you better gather her up because we need to go. The child formed a small line and hoisted Gabby over their heads. They slowly departed from the park, carrying her along. Kyle, don't forget your rent. The landlord was asking me about it today, said Gabby as she was carried away. Kyle grunted, gave a small nod, and walked away. <laughs> Later that night, Kyle heard Gabby's front door slam and wondered why she had been returned. Kyle gifted a blessing. Alright guys, that's all the endings. Uh, yeah, I like this a lot. It still has some really funny endings. The only thing my complaint was, I was expecting like a large Christmas ending that you combine the things and you get like a big ending like you did in the original story. Where you like culminate everything together and then you get the true ending. I was hoping for something like that, but that didn't happen. But everything else was pretty good. I'd recommend it. I had a lot of fun. Alright guys, if you like videos like these, please like and subscribe. Bye!